Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a little life update and q and I feel like a lot of things have happened um, lately, big life changes for me, um, some good, some very sad, but I just thought I would hop on here and do a video because lots of you guys sent in questions and I've been noticing a lot of people asking questions in the comments and things like that and um, I feel like I'm ready to to talk about some things. Obviously a huge part of this video is going to be talking about Reggie. I'm going to talk about that later on in the video, but I thought I would start off with a happy question. Um, the first question somebody asked me is, we don't ask people enough, are you happy? Which I thought was a nice question. Despite all of the sadness recently, um, I do feel really happy. I actually just had my birthday and I had the best, best, best birthday ever. Can I say like ever, 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 ever? Yeah, I think like the best birthday in a very, very long time. It was so, so nice. I could honestly go on and on about my birthday week, but like it was just really special. I had a party at, um, it's like a wine bar here in London called Brilliant Corners. It's great if you're ever um, down East London way, check it out. Uh, it was so fun and so many of my friends came, lots of people that I haven't seen in a really long time. And it was honestly so great just to connect with everybody. And I, I really was like quite nervous about it beforehand. I didn't think anyone was gonna come to my birthday. I don't know, I just get like a little bit of social anxiety about these things. I was like, nobody's gonna wanna come. But then everybody came and it was so nice. And it was also kind of cool to um, introduce friends that I have that maybe have never met each other before. So that was really cool. Um, so I did that, and then of course I went to Cornwall on the weekend. Well, not of course, but if you saw on Instagram, I went to Cornwall on the weekend, and I, oh, it was just the most magical weekend in Cornwall. I'd never been to Cornwall before, so everything was new to me, and I really wanted to spend a lot of time in nature, and it was lovely. So yeah, I would say that currently I'm feeling really happy, and I'm feeling really loved, and um, it's been really nice actually. I feel like I've been leaning a lot on my friends and family recently, so it's just really nice to have that support system. Anyway, uh, next question. What brings you the most happiness in your day? <laughs> well, I mean, before my answer was always Reggie, obviously. Um, I will not cry in this video. I made a pact with myself that I wasn't gonna lose it. Um, but I miss that dog. I miss him so much. Um, not crying, not crying. I guess this is really like the first time I've spoken about him online, so it's just hard. What is wrong with me? <laughs> um, it's just hard because I know you guys obviously saw the whole journey of, you know, Aslan and I getting Reggie and his whole journey of like becoming the most loved dog ever and I I don't need to tell you how much we loved that dog. So it was hard. Anyway, trying to find new happiness these days. I mean, yoga. I feel like I have to mention yoga. Yoga is a really happy part of my day and of my life. But um, what brings me happiness lately? I honestly have just been so social recently, like for me. And that has been great. And like, I did a workout class um, last week with my friend Jules and like, that was super fun. So I'm just like trying to be more social and just see things in a positive way, which is helping me a lot. How is your anxiety? Well, <laughs> it hasn't been great. It's tough. I feel like I've gone through, I, I'm like, it's like a pendulum. I'm either like, I'm, I'm really working on finding that balance recently and I'm like feeling like I'm getting there again, but I'm either like a recluse, like I hang out at home by myself all the time, or I'm like always super social. It's very hard for me to find that balance, but I feel like currently, like this week, I've been good. <laughs> um, and that's all we can do is day by day. But my anxiety has been not so bad. I didn't, I didn't think it was that bad, but then randomly I had a panic attack in Cornwall, which was strange for me because I don't typically 
get panic attacks so much anymore. But I think sometimes things just like get on top of you and that's that. But um, in general, I would say my anxiety is pretty good. I'm feeling happy and I'm feeling light, if that makes sense. Um, so that's good. I mean, it's a, it's a journey every day. What's something new you've discovered about yourself slash are surprised to learn? Well, I'm discovering new things every single day, people. Um, I think I'm in a real self-discovery phase of my life right now. Actually, that's another question, but I can get down to that. Um, I'm just trying to figure out who I am, you know, what does make me happy, how I like to spend my time, what brings me joy, um, things like that. Um, so something that new that I've discovered about myself is that I can make chili. I've been making chili and I'm pretty good at it, if I do say so myself. My specialties include chili and banana bread. That's all I can make. So I'm trying. Are you planning another date with yourself? Well, I really should because I did a vlog if you missed it. Um, I will link it down below, but I took myself on a date to the Tate, a Tate date and it was great. <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't know it. If you guys have any ideas on where I should take myself on my next solo date, then let me know because that was a really great day and um, I, I had a great time. So yeah, I mean, where have you guys gone on solo dates recently? Let me know, give me some inspo. Okay, so let's really talk about Reggie. My little baby, my little baby boy forever. A lot of people, Obviously, we're curious to see like what happened to him. Um, basically, Reggie was 13 years old, almost, and um, he was a greyhound. So greyhounds do have some known health issues. But anyway, Reggie has had kidney, kidney failure for a couple of years. I want to say like a year and a half, maybe even two years, maybe longer, maybe shorter. I can't remember. Um, but that is a common thing with greyhounds. So we already knew that and he had been on medication. We knew from the minute he got diagnosed that that was probably going to be the, you know, kind of like what would happen to him. Um, he was kind of fine on his medicine for quite a while and then symptoms started happening. Basically, when um, a dog or a human, I guess, has kidney failure. It just means that the kidneys can't function properly, which means that a lot of things can't get filtered through the body properly. Um, so he was holding on to things within his body that were toxic and making him feel very sick. Um, so towards the end, I wanna say the past like six months, I've really noticed, I had noticed him slowing down and not feeling so well. And then he just kind of completely lost his appetite and we were just trying everything, but you know, we knew that that was kind of the end and the vets were just kind of saying like, he's not gonna get better. And um, you know, we always decided like, that we don't want him to be suffering. And I think if any of you have lost a pet, you really like know their personality and we could start to tell that like he was not himself and he wasn't feeling well and it was time and it was the hardest decision ever, but it was the right decision. If you didn't read my Instagram post, then um, I would love you to read that. And I think, although I miss him so much, like you don't know. <laughs> I am really trying to focus on um, the positives around Reggie, specifically that he inspired so many people to uh, um, adopt greyhounds. And I've had hundreds and hundreds of messages over the years saying, I never thought to adopt a greyhound, but ever since I saw Reggie and his little personality, like I was convinced that greyhound was the dog for me. And honestly, when I say hundreds of greyhounds, I'm not exaggerating. I'm talking hundreds of greyhounds have been adopted. And so many of that was partly inspired by Reggie. And that that's, for me, like the best thing ever. Um, I have such a passion for adopting animals. Um, but specifically, I have a passion around greyhounds because I think that they're lovely. And um, they live really tough lives before they retire. I really want the racing industry to stop. I think it's awful and it's cruel. Um, but I digress. <laughs> I, 
I'm just so happy that he has left that kind of positive impact on the world and on me. And he taught me, I mean, he taught me so many things, patience and empathy because he was so nervous and so shy. You know, I met one of my best friends, Lucy, because of him. I walked in the park with him and met Lucy and her greyhound, Rafiki. And there's so many positives and he lived a really long life and we loved him so much. Um, so of course I miss him, but it's going to be okay. And a lot of people are like, are you going to get another dog? <laughs> I can't even think about getting another dog right now. But also I'm not in a place in my life where I can look after a dog on my own. Um, it's a lot of work and I do travel so much and I had a huge responsibility with Reggie from the day that I got him in my early 20s and I just turned 29 and I just, I really don't know what it's like not to have a dog. Trust me, I don't like it. I don't like the feeling, but I think it's good for me to be able to like leave the house for more than four hours at a time because like I always have to come home and walk Reggie and stuff like that. So I mean, never begrudged him of it, loved every second with him and all of that, but it's just a kind of different um, chapter of my life, I think, where I can be a little bit more free with my time. So no, I'm not getting another dog anytime soon, although I, if I could adopt another Greyhound, of course I would do it because there are so many that, that need new homes, but I don't think it's quite the right time for me right now. I think that's everything I wanna say about Reggie. Um, if you would like to donate to Greyhound-related charities, I would, Love you too, obviously. That's like the best birthday gift anyone could get me. Um, I'll leave a link down below um, because they're just so beautiful. They're such amazing creatures. Anyway, that's all I have to say about Reggie. I miss him dearly every second of every day. I still have a lot of his toys and I don't want to cry again. But I'm sure you guys can imagine how difficult that was and is. Next subject. How are the renovations going? <laughs> They're basically done. I'm waiting for my dining table chairs. That's the last thing. And then I want to do a house tour. I have so many interior related videos I wanna do, but I'm just waiting until everything is just kind of perfect. It just takes such a long time, but the renovation is almost done. I'm super excited. I'm loving it. Um, so more on that later. Biggest lesson you've learned in the last six months. That's a really interest. It's been an interesting six months, I would say. I, I think I've been quite, you know, internalizing-ish. That's not a word. I've been internalizing a lot of my emotions the past six months and kind of doing a lot of self-reflection. I think the biggest thing I have learned, especially since journaling more, is that one day you can feel very, very sad, the next day you can feel super happy, the next day might be just average, you know? And I think that's one thing that I've really learned is that every day does bring something new and just because you feel like you're in something doesn't mean it's gonna stick around forever. Um, so I find that found that quite comforting. Are you cooking more? Like I mentioned, I am cooking chili. And I think one big thing is, yes, I wanna start cooking more. Not only because it's like a good thing for me to do as like a human in the world, but it's healthier and saves you money. And it might be a new way for me to like, you know, it might be a new hobby of mine. I'm actually looking into um, doing some cooking lessons. So if any of you guys know like good beginner cooking lessons in London, please let me know. How is it living on your own? Well, since losing Reggie, I will say it's the first time I've really felt like I'm living on my own because when you have a dog in the house, like they're, they're the heartbeat of the home, you know? So now that I don't have him, I really feel like I'm alone. Like I'm just at home alone, reading my book, looking out the window, doing the dishes, watching a lot of Netflix. <laughs> But I love it. I, I really love living alone. It's something that um, I really wanted to do and I feel great. I love my own space and I think it's really great to learn how to live alone and be by yourself and do things alone, which is partly why I love doing the solo dates. Is there anything you want to check off um, the to-do list over the coming year? Work-wise, I have a really exciting year coming up. We are launching the next um, Daisy collection, which you guys probably know about in mid-September. Keep your eyes peeled. So that's been keeping me really busy. Um, 
I'm really enjoying doing the podcast, although I'm taking a little break from the podcast just because I have been going through some things. But personally, what do I wanna do? I really wanted to do a surfing lesson on my birthday, but the weather was so bad, I couldn't do it. So I think like in the next year, I would really love to surf. That's one thing. Are you going to write another book? Perhaps Bloom 2. Ooh, a dark cloud just, just fell over me. Um, no, I don't have any plans to do Bloom 2. I don't wanna say like never say never. Never say never, of course, but I don't have any big plans to write like that kind of book ever again. Uh, ever again. Never say never. I'll never do it again. I feel like that was a particular time in my life where I felt like I wanted to share that stuff and I'm really glad I did it, but no, I don't feel like I need to do it again. Any chance of an Estee Beauty slash skincare line in the future? I'm not sure. Nothing really like that in the works right now, but again, never say never. Do you feel ready to be in a serious relationship again? Whew. You guys are hitting me with the with the questions today. <laughs> so I feel like I have to say this in every single q and I probably will never share um, my personal romantic life ever again. Now, hear me out, hear me out. My first relationship was very, very, very public. Like it was really out there. We shared everything, great. No regrets, that's that's just how it went and I was happy to share all that. When that ended, it was very intense um, for me, just like comment wise and I felt like a lot of my privacy was being intruded upon and it didn't just go on for like a month. It's been almost like, I wanna say like a year and a half and like I still get regular comments about it, which makes it a little bit difficult to kind of move on. And, you know, Aslan and I are still really good friends. So every any time people think that we might be hanging out, people are like, they're back together. We're not. We are really just very good friends. Um, so I just kind of told myself that I wasn't going to share that kind of stuff again. Am I ready to be in a serious relationship again? Sure. Am I in a relationship? We will never know because I will never share it. Um, but I will say that, oh, that sunshine, that sunshine, that sunshine. It's not that I don't want to share it because like, of course I want to share everything with you guys all the time, but it's more just about putting a boundary up to protect my own mental health because um, it, it that was one of the hardest things I've ever went through. Um, personally and then with like the internet element that was very difficult for me and I just do not want to go through it ever again. So I hope you guys can understand that. Um, what I will say is I feel good right now and um, you can fill in the blanks with that. I'm sure you'll get hints here and there but like as of like specifically showing someone or like a selfie with another person that I might be dating, it is probably never gonna happen. Even though I really would love to, but I can't. <laughs> I hope you guys understand that. What chapter of your life do you feel like you are in? So kind of like I mentioned earlier, I feel like I'm in a self-discovery phase of things and I'm just learning like, yeah, what makes me happy and not only what makes me happy like day to day, but like what makes me happy in my core and like where am I most happy and what am I doing when I feel most myself and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's a long, 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 long journey, but that's what I'm trying to do right now. Um, so anyway, I think that's everything. Um, those were kind of the main questions that I got asked. Um, I hope I answered all of your questions around Reggie and, um, you know, I'm still okay to talk about Reggie. Like, I'd love you guys to like comment about Reggie and stuff. Like, that's totally cool. I think about him all the time and I, I talk about him all the time in my personal life. I think my friends probably think I'm a little bit, you know, because I'll be like walking down the dog, I'll, I'll, walking down the dog. I'll be walking down the street and like, I just like beeline it to any dog and I just like, I miss him, you know? So I just want to keep that legacy alive and I want to get a tattoo as well to commemorate him but I don't know what to get um 
that boy, that boy. Okay, that's everything. Gonna go cry now. <laughs> no, I'm gonna try not to. Um, but yeah, I will link to all my jewelry down in the description box. And I will also link to this gorgeous summery yellow top. I love it. It's so pretty. I don't know. This is like how I'm modeling now. Um, and stay tuned for my home tour, which should be coming in the next month, I want to say. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing really, really well. And um, I hope your summer is doing well, going well. And um, I will wrap up this video. I'm wrapping it up like the old days. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.